Uh, yeah, colleagues, my name is Ivan Polonik. I'm happy to present you our most most issue of the problem of uh, MLN. So, uh, what is the of the problem? If you take a uh, well absorbing <coughs> material, such as uh, soy lines, such as thresholds, and uh, put a laser beam uh, through it, in this case, uh, head of MLNs can clear. So, in a few words, uh, on basic level, why does it happen? Uh, so, we have beam uh, going through the well absorbing uh, area. Uh, as uh, as there's a beam at the Thresholds uh, heats and uh, they have some temperature gradient appears. Uh, next, as you know, uh, density of uh, liquids are decreases with uh, temperature increasing. Uh, it's, it's so we have a uh, density gradient uh, in this case. And uh, as uh, effective index depends on the density, we also have uh, effective, effective index gradient, and so we have something uh, named length in uh, usual life. Um, so, then our time is very uh, First, we will measure some uh, case threshold parameters, such as absorption coefficient and reflection index, depending on the temperature. Uh, next, we'll talk how uh, this forms and the dynamics. And finally, we'll uh, create the stable lens uh, and make some parameter research. So, firstly, uh, as light goes uh, through the uh, absorbing uh, area, uh, its intensity increases. Uh, Using Bogan uh, and slow, we may find that it uh, decreases exponentially because uh, the k of uh, intensity is proportional to the intensity at a uh, small point. Uh, so, using this method uh, and uh, with the help of Perigo uh, Soft, we may uh, make such setup uh, consisting of a foot diet, uh, laser beam uh, for adjusting the foot diet, uh, we measure voltmeter uh, connected to the diet uh, to measure the intensity. Uh, some case and uh, this goal we add uh, soy salt. Uh, so we, we, we increase the uh, height of uh, soy salt uh, and uh, can see how the voltage depends on, uh, on, this, on this height. So we may find the absorption coefficient uh, of soy salt in this case. Uh, next, uh, we need to measure effective index. Uh, in order to do it, uh, we use uh, boost angle method. So how does it work? Uh, we take the uh, laser, it goes through the polarizer, and to have some picture on uh, the stand after reflecting from the soy salt. Next, we take uh, polarizer in order to uh, minimize the intensity of uh, the light, and after changing the angle between uh, soy salt and not normal and uh, laser light, uh, we make some picture when we have nothing on the screen. Unfortunately, uh, it's, I think, badly. Yeah, you may see it better, but so uh, you can see that uh, changing the angle in some case uh, near this point, uh, we see nothing on the screen. Uh, this is how stuff works. So, in order to measure the angle between laser and uh, normal of soy salt, we add a chart to visualize uh, the laser. And uh, with the clip, we got the dependence of the effective index as function of temperature. Uh, so, which can be exploited as a uh, line, and uh, long heat, we may uh, go, go up and uh, see what happens when we uh, turn up the laser. So, as you can see from this picture, from this video, uh, first lens uh, decreased. Uh, after it gets uh, its maximum radius, and uh, for now, yes, uh, it starts uh, dying. And this convection flow because convection flows, which can be uh, easily visualized uh, around it. Um, so now we're interested in uh, gate uh, forming lens forming. Uh, so in the picture, in the paper which we saw in the plane, uh, was found the uh, solution for focus lens of uh, thermal lens uh, in uh, and uh, focus and, and focal lens in this case is uh, given uh, on the plane. Uh, so, as you can see, it depends on the uh, temperature distribution, distribution in the lens and which depends on time. So, in order to find the focus lens change with the time, uh, what was on the paper, uh, people wrote the thermal conductivity equation in the power coordinates, assumed beam to be Gaussian, and used the uh, progression mass law. And the model that uh, our lens is uh, seen, uh, they got temperature distribution depending on the time and focus lens uh, depending on all the parameters. Uh, and uh, some of the dependencies we'll check experimentally. Uh, for example, now we're going to check dependence uh, how focus lens depends on the time. Uh, as you can see in theory, uh, it uh, sh focus lens uh, should uh, uh, decrease till some constant value, and because of it, uh, unit uh, proportional to the uh, focus lens, uh, 
cost of travel. Uh, and uh, so, so fit, uh, fitting these uh, parameters uh, feels really good to do in the theory and experiment. Uh, next, uh, we're going to work with table lines uh, in order to do more uh, correct, more correct uh, simulation. I'm not saying that uh, our lens is very thin. Uh, we make a conformal physics simulation and uh, find stable uh, the distribution in the lens. Uh, next, uh, as we know how reflect, reflective index depends on the temperature, we'll find the uh, reflective index uh, distribution in our lens. <coughs> Uh, and uh, find out that our lens is uh, dispersive. Uh, so, uh, next thing we're going to describe about it is uh, that when we see, when we light uh, the laser, we see uh, some new units. So, we should understand uh, where is the difference. And the difference is between the light which uh, went through two souls and glass, and the uh, way which reflected from glass and after it two souls, and after it uh, went uh, through the system. Uh, but, uh, one interesting thing which we will explain later is that uh, in usual link rings, uh, this is between the rings, it decreases. But in our case, we clearly see that it doesn't decrease and is never constant. Uh, and so, why this happens? Uh, oh, uh, so good picture. Uh, and so, usually, it happens with uh, uh, the main difference is because uh, usually link rings are observed in reflected light. And in this case, as you could see from this picture, uh, this is between rings uh, disappear. Uh, but if you observe for rings in uh, concentric lights, as we make it in our experiment, you may see that this is between rings doesn't disappear. Uh, this is the same which we have in our experiment. And now let's understand why this does happen. Um, so what happens with the uh, with reflected light? Uh, when the phase shift uh, appears uh, in this gap uh, between uh, lens and uh, let's understand, uh, which, uh, which, which increase uh, increasing the uh, distance from uh, the center of the lens. But if you have a uh, lens in translated light, uh, in this case, uh, phase shift happens uh, when they're in the glass. And because of it, when from geometry, we see that uh, phase shift uh, doesn't, it, uh, it, it decreases while uh, going far away from the uh, center of the lens. And so we have a uh, principle different uh, Dependence uh, of uh, radius of the ring uh, as the number, and we see that it's uh, nearly, uh, the difference between the radius is a relative constant, uh, which we check experimentally for lens. Uh, so it's it, it, it's approximately, it's approximately uh, constant. So uh, and it happens because we observe uh, our rings in uh, transmitted lights. Transmit light. uh, next, we increase the uh, uh, thickness of uh, our lens, just adding uh, more results in the same. Uh, uh, with, with, with the same um, surface area. Uh, and as we see, it's split, as it's split from our theory, uh, focus lens is proportional to the uh, height of uh, our lens. Uh, in the last but not the least, uh, we change the uh, composition of our uh, soil soil, so we add some water uh, to it. And uh, in this case, so we should, it's done in order to check uh, dependence on effective, on absorption coefficient. Uh, so, uh, we should quickly modify uh, Bugel and Bayer's uh, law. Uh, think the that uh, now not all uh, uh, particle in uh, our area are absorbing. Uh, so that we have uh, some absorbing particles uh, of soil salts and not absorbing particles of water. And because the concentration of uh, absorbing particle is much less. And uh, when we write it using uh, mass relation of uh, soil salts and uh, all uh, liquid uh, Consists from solids and water. And this dependence, uh, which we don't, as you can see, it's. Uh, ah, you don't see it. Uh, so there, there, there are two, uh, two theoretical curves there. One is red, you can see, and uh, second goes like this. Uh, the reason if why is that two of them, in one of them, we, in the red one, we assume a relation of uh, a molecular matrix of water and uh, solids as a parameter because we cannot uh, measure it uh, exactly. And for green line, which you don't see, uh, we got some approximate uh, value for uh, typical uh, soil sources. And uh, this curve is uh, also new to experiment, but unfortunately, you don't see it because of the projection. Yeah, and so there are confusions in my work. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah.